they have elected to receive, so the Tigers will kick it off. Between Missouri's win in 1992 and its 41-21 win last season, Kansas State won 13 straight games. Matter of fact, the Wildcats 10-1 against Missouri since the formation of the Big 12. And the Tigers are looking for their first win since 1989 here in Manhattan. And, and, and Dan, that, that's what Coach Payne was talking about. His mode all week was over-prepared. You can't prepare enough for this football game because everybody in the country is talking about the Missouri-Kansas matchup. All he cares about is the Missouri-Kansas State matchup. James Johnson and Leon Patton back deep to receive for Kansas State. It's fielded at the 7th. Across the 20 to the 25, out to the 30, goes Leon Patton. The senior in the backfield now put in motion to the outside. Freeman wants to throw, steps back and fires, incomplete. Trying to beat in this game. Third down and four. Freeman from the shotgun this time with protection. Oh! Intercepted! This could be six. Down to the 15. The interception by William Moore. The junior safety, he leads the team. The Heisman Trophy candidate for Missouri. Slings it to the left side. Macklin inside the 10 and knocked out of bounds at eight. Tony Temple in the backfield. Daniel wants to throw again. End zone fires. Catch is made. Touchdown, Missouri. Back and knock him out of the game. Jeff Wolford on for the extra point. That is now 75 in a row for Jeff Wolford, the junior. He's on the season. He's done it special teams. He's done it as a wide receiver, also in the backfield. Across midfield. Good pick up here for Kansas State. 86. <laughs> and he's the man. Yes, he is. <laughs> Freeman with time steps up. Fires. First down for Kansas State. Daniel. Freeman with time again over the middle. Mustard again, the big tight end out of Oregon. Third down and short. On the ground it goes. There's the first down, maybe more. Inside the 10 goes James Johnson. And the ball is loose, and Missouri has got it. Wow. I'm not sure this one stays stands, but... Oh, they're going to say it's Missouri football. Yeah. We'll have to take another look. But... So a pickup of 15 for James Johnson, and it's far back at Lyman Fall starting. Lost a yard on the play. Freeman going for it and short. Brought down at the one. William Moore again on the stop for Missouri. Daniel Coach Prince hearing it from the home folks. They want to see him Ball's go good. for it. Kick is up and it is good. Kansas State. Number two. And that will change after this weekend. And the Big 12 will have a lot of say in that. This is Macklin from his own one yard line. Across the 15 to the outside. Wow. There he goes. Macklin to the 40. Cross See midfield. Ya. See you later. Jeremy Macklin will have his second touchdown of the afternoon for the Tigers. 99 yards from Missouri. Goodness. That's a big Mac attack right there. Jeremy Macklin. It's that knee injury. He's actually quicker. He yep. has been timed recently in the high four twos, and he is. Players and coaches within those respective programs. Freeman to throw stands on his 15 with time, and the catch is made. Catch made by D. State. Tenth in the Big 12 in this spot, and he's going to be brought down. Got rid of it. A flag on the play. Usually that's a hold in there where that flag's from. And they want to win the big play battle. Last week, Texas A&M, 143 yards on three plays. There's the big tight end and a first down for the Tigers. That's Martin Rucker, the six catches this year for Chase Kaufman. Tony Temple with a hole, a big hole. And he picks up about seven on the play. That's Tony Temple, the senior from... Fair, if the NCAA has a heart, I think they should allow him to play another year. I think that's totally fair. 141 yards of rushing last week against A&M, even with his grandmother passing. Daniel picks up the first down. The catch is made by Tommy Saunders, the junior from Missouri. Third and ten. Daniel, pump fake with time. On loads, it's going to be close to a first down. And they're going to be sure that's Tommy Saunders, his second catch on this drive. Pick up Daniel. Pump fake. 
Oh, I've got that's going to be that. pass interference. It's got to be. No. Nope. And there's no flag on the play as bodies were tied up on the left side. It doesn't go in the books as a takeaway. It goes taken over on downs, but it's same same principle. Big hole up the middle. Wow. Johnson. 20, 10, touchdown, Wildcats. James Johnson, 66 yards. Stop on downs, Blossman. Misses the extra point, Missouri. Chase Daniel rolls to his left. Wants to throw, tucks it under. Daniel across the 30, short of the first down. Missouri will have to punt it away. Time now for the... Oh! And it's blocked. Kansas State inside the five. It's a touchdown. Touchdown for Kansas State. The Wildcats, Ernie Pierce. Okay, well now the unconventional scores are even Steven. That is the answer to Jeremy Macklin. This time a block. Special teams have not been good in this game on either side, and certainly not for the Missouri Tigers. Busted play there. Second uh, extra point is blocked. Chase Daniel, little option. He'll keep it himself. Brought down near that first down marker. Probably picked it up. They've done. They've spread yeah. it all out. And Daniel finds the open man. That's Will Franklin. Across midfield, still on his feet, and brought down at the 46 for Missouri. Temple hands it off. And brought down at the 31, that's Denario Alexander. For another all the time. Chase Daniel has a man, and the catch is made inside the 10. And it looks like Macklin again. <laughs> He, he was okay from the eight. Yeah. Got the big man, and that is Martin Rucker. The senior tight end, Martin Rucker, picks up the touchdown. And that's where they are so valuable. Those big six foot six. More important his team than anybody in the country. Extra point is up and good. Eight yard touchdown, 42 points a game for the Missouri Tigers. Freeman on third down. Picks up the first down and then some. Diving across near that 40-yard line is Jordy Nelson. Big up for three or four more wins easily. This is Johnson. Kansas State primarily on the ground. Across midfield near a first down for James Johnson. He's putting together a huge first half for the Wild. It's very special in the special team. You got it. Second down and six. It's a draw. And again, James Johnson near the 30. And another first down for Kansas State. And they're having all kinds of success now on this drive on the ground. They really are. First and 10, Freeman to throw. Wide open is the big tight end. Pushkey inside the 15 for Kansas State. And when you say four. Ooh. Little hint. <laughs> Freeman, end zone. Incomplete. Coverage was real attempt. Rossman. Knocks it through. Kansas State will take the points, and it's now 21-18. That's twice now they've had that can happen for the Missouri Tigers. Chase Daniel across the middle, his big tight end. He hooks up with him, and that's a first down. The catch made by Martin Rucker. He had a touchdown in the first half. The playmakers for Mizzou, and how did they fare in the temple? Big hole. Flag on the play, knocked out of bounds near the 50. A late flag, though, on the play as Ray Cheatham knocked Tony Temple on the Kansas State sidelines. Tony Temple across midfield. Lowers his shoulders and picks up the first down as he's wrestled out of bounds by Ray Cheatham. Number five on the road. Over the middle, there's Macklin again. Breaks through inside the five. Jeremy Macklin. <laughs> How do you lose track of them down the middle of the foot? On a two for Missouri. Temple dives ahead. Did he get in? Touchdown, Missouri. Well, you talked about it, uh, Dan, how they responded. 
last week in the fourth quarter when Texas A&M was making it a football game. Here down, up three at the half. They're saying, look, we got to make a statement with our fan for Tony Temple this season. The extra point is good. So just like the first half, Missouri on their first position sets up a screen. That's Patton, and he is brought down by a couple of tacklers. In on the stop was Christopher. Did a nice question. Daniel steps up, throws on the run. Gonna call and a flag on the play. The intended receiver, Greg Bracey, for the Missouri Tigers. And he was tied up near the 25-yard line. Pretty easy call there. Yeah. Derek Washington. Speedster still on his feet, dives ahead. Looked like he got the first down as the ball popped loose a little late after the whistle. Derek Washington is a Washington in the backfield with him. Daniel with some time looking, fires wow. towards the end zone. Macklin again, touchdown, Missouri. Oh man, 44 yards. The maestro, Chase Daniel, just orchestrating things at the line of scrimmage and then in the pocket as well. And you cannot let Macklin get deeper than your deepest of the field. If you're Ron Prince, you're pulling your defense over and you're saying, number nine can't be wide open. Oh, you Johnson in the backfield, he had a huge first half. Freeman wants to throw. Looks for his tight end, he's got him across midfield. Jerron Mastro. First down, Kansas State. Preston. Les Miles, yeah. Yep. Yep. Ball's out. Ball's Ball out. Ball is loose, and Missouri has got it. Another turnover charged against Kansas State. Missouri picks up the loose football, and it's Bridges, the junior from Richmond, California. And again, it's all about being physical. Chase Daniel. All kinds of time again. Daniel tucks it under. He's brought down the second time he is set. In the last three plays, and that's Ian Campbell now with four and a half sacks. This they lead across the middle, and he misses his target, Deion Murphy. So fourth down. For, this is Deion Murphy at the 40. Murphy, 35, 30, 25, 20. Knocked out of bounds inside the 20. That's why I was thinking about, you know, you take that safety of Freeman. Looking end zone and caught. Touchdown, Kansas State. Ernie Pierce. 20 yard touchdown reception for the Wildcats. Terrell, good. No, not at all. Extra point is good. And the lead is back to 10 for Missouri. Underneath, incomplete. Through behind the intended receiver, that was Tommy Saunders. And the unflappable Chase Daniel, emotional after that non-conversion. The state play action, Freeman in trouble and dropped again. This time it's William Moore. And how about William Moore? He shows that he can intercept Freeman when he had the interception reading Freeman. Fires to his sideline, catch is made. Across the 35, down to the 30. That's Tommy Saunders yet again. Saunders a big second half. Pickup of 16 for Missouri. Macklin. About a step shy of just cutting it up, and he might add six. Takes your breath away. He really does. I mean, he makes you, every time you get the foot, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I'm His second reception, still on his feet, forging a, ahead and a near first down for Missouri. You got a gang tackle these tight ends. Big. Body showing blitz. They pick it up and diving ahead. Did he get in? Is it a touchdown? It's Tommy Saunders. Fisher's ruling his knee was down and he's short of the goal line. Just short. Great second effort. Goal. Daniel. Oh. Lofts it towards the end zone and it's a touchdown for Missouri. Martin Rucker, his second touchdown reception of the afternoon. That's a little, little bit of Tim Tebow right there. It was. It was like a little jump pass a la Tebow. That's right. Right-handed, almost like a shot. Huge for the Missouri Tigers. With 9.34 to go, the Missouri Tigers. Oh, catch. Freeman over the middle. That's a first down and a big hit. Pushki, the tight end, picked it up. The ball popped loose, they're saying. And still no whistle, and finally we get one. Now, during the course of that hit, was the ball taken away? Because he got stood up. I mean, Pushki definitely, he got, uh, he got smoked. 
Patton worse for the wear. That's a seven point stance. You have the head on the ground. It's Missouri's football. And Patton's in a seven point stance. That's the worst stance of them all. Gary Pinkle celebrating another takeaway by his defense. Temple, huge hole. Across the 30, down to the 25. Still on his feet. Inside the 15, Tony Temple. Uh, the, the key to that play was Martin Rucker sustaining his block. Handoff. This is Temple, and it's a touchdown for Missouri. You know, you just never know when Missouri is going to explode. You know, you, you always, you're looking at him, and it's like, okay, well, you know, all eight cylinders aren't clicking yet. EOU here in Manhattan, Kansas. All Tigers here in the second half. Number five is rolling. To the sideline. We have not called his name very often today. That's Jordy Nelson. And uh, his career coming to a finish at home this afternoon. Afternoon, Kansas playing Iowa State. There's that arm strength right there by Freeman. That's why if you're a Kansas State fan, you sit there and you say, there is hope. We've got a pretty good quarterback coming back. Now, there's no doubt. And, and he against Missouri last year. And right on cue, it's <laughs> Jordy Nelson scoring what might be his final touchdown at home. And you know what? Certain things you like to see scripted, and we know that wasn't scripted, but that's that is that's that's poetic justice. Kansas State cuts the lead with 204 to play to 49 32. Pull back the reins, so to speak. There's the quickness of the man wearing number one, Jimmy Jackson, for the Missouri Tigers. Our college football Saturday doubleheader continues later tonight. Brought down at the 15. So we give Mizzou this win this afternoon. A look at the Big 12 North standings. Kansas taking on Iowa State. Three Tigers. They set themselves up to, to finish a, a storybook season. Missouri 10 and 1 on the year. They finished this game 49 to 32 over Kansas State. Now you look ahead to next weekend in Arrowhead.